Hello, welcome back to the Drone MBA podcast. My name is Dr. Heather Monthe. I am your host for this podcast. Today's episode, what I wanted to do is to talk about how to determine if your drone business idea is a viable business idea. And this idea came about from a couple of people were talking about it in my Facebook group, Business Strategies for Drone Pilots. Um, I did get a couple of emails and I've even seen some comments on some of my YouTube videos of people just trying to figure out if they can create a drone business where they live. Maybe they live in a rural part of the country or you know, there's a lot of people doing real estate photography. So why should they start a real estate photography business? Things like this. So this is certainly my opinion on what you can do to figure out if your drone business might or might not be a good idea. I know that I have been in the aerial services business for over 20 years and some things work and some things just don't work based on my own personal preference of how I want to do business. So you got to kind of think about what are the logistics of doing certain types of services with your drone so that you can figure out, is this something that I even want to do? Okay. So let's talk about a couple of different things that you can think about as you're trying to determine whether or not your drone business is a viable business opportunity. So again, this is my professional opinion, you know, take with it whatever it is that you feel is relevant to you. Some of it might be pertinent to you and what you're doing and some of it might not. So just use some common sense as you're trying to apply some of these strategies to come up with your drone business idea. All right. So the first thing is to really understand your market. So you want to look at what is the market demand and who is your target audience. Okay. So if you are living in a particular area and you have a drone and you want to start a drone business, look up what other drone businesses are doing in your area. See what kind of services that other people have been able to figure out how to start a business and doing. You will probably not know how well they're doing. You probably won't know how much money they're making, but you can certainly see if there's a couple people doing these things. So the way to look at it is if there's somebody doing business, it means that there's probably a market. Um, you, what you just don't know is if it's oversaturated or not. So think about what are the things that are going to be in demand in your area. Maybe you live in an area where there's a lot of real estate and you can do some real estate photography. I really, truly think that real estate photography is uh, a great way to get into the drone industry, um, but it can get oversaturated. There's a lot of people that are trying to do it, and there's only a certain number of houses that can be sold. And I do know some people who have done this. I personally have not, but I do know some people that have done this that they end up having to travel quite far from where they live in order to conduct the uh, photo shoot. And it's not necessarily something that they're interested in doing. So if they've got to drive for an hour and a half to do photos, you know, you've got to charge for that. It, it then increases your rates. Um, and some people just don't want to drive that far. I know I certainly don't want to drive that far when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing drone services or I'm doing any sort of services related to my company. So I think about what are the types of services that I want to offer that sort of align well with my lifestyle, the way I want to you know live my life. So just because there's somebody that's offering a service in your area doesn't mean that that's the service that you have to offer. Um, it can just be a, a sense of this is what might or might not be working in your geographic area or within your market. Think about who your target audience might be. So if you're going to do photography, who are you going to sell your photography services to? Is it going to be to real estate agents? Is it going to be to brides and grooms on their wedding day? What is that going to be? Uh, you might also work on starting a business doing roof inspection. So who is your target audience there? Is it roofers? Is it insurance companies? Who is that going to be? So really look at who that target audience is and see if that is even in the geographic area in which you want to drive in order to conduct your drone services. After you've identified some of the opportunities that might be in your area, some of the people that are already doing business in your area, you can do that competitor analysis. Take a look at their website. Look at what, look at the things that they're doing. Take a look at their social media. What kinds of things are they promoting? What kind of services are they offering? What kinds of things might you be able to offer that they're not in order to make your services stand out from your competition? And then figure out what are those sort of gaps in the market that you're like, okay, well, maybe this 
isn't something that's currently being offered in my area, but it could potentially be a gap in the market that somebody could be needing this type of drone service. Okay. So think about what are some of those things. So you can do a SWOT analysis. You can, after you've looked at your competitors, you can do a SWOT analysis, which is looking at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So comparing you to your competitors, and then you can even do a SWOT analysis on your competitors, just based on what you can see online, what you can see on their website and social media. Maybe they're posting in Facebook groups in their local community, that kind of stuff. Just see what they're doing. Next is to really evaluate the financial feasibility. So if you want to offer up some sort of service using a particular software that's going to cost, you know, a couple thousands of dollars or even up to upwards of $10,000. Is that financially feasible for you right now as you're getting started? A lot of people as they're getting started, they want to bootstrap this and would like to get just get started with um, with something, start getting some money coming in, and then they can justify spending more money on, on a drone. I was at just recently last week, I was at CES. They've got you know, $40,000, $50,000 drones there. Are you going to start your drone company? With a forty or fifty thousand dollar drone, that's up to you to decide. You have to figure that out. You have to figure that out for yourself. What you're financially comfortable with, what your financial resources are. Um, so just start thinking about what kind of money do you want to put into this as you're getting this started. Next, you want to make sure that you look at any sort of legal and regulatory considerations that might be in the area in which you want to conduct business. So me, for example, I live in an area. I live very close to an air force base. So oftentimes there's areas that I cannot physically fly. A lot of times when I'm doing demos, if I'm doing a demo for, for schools or if I'm doing demos for teachers, oftentimes I'm flying my drone in my garage just so, just so that I'm staying compliant, okay? So you want to take a look at where it is that you want to offer up your drone services and see if it's going to be a viable area for you to be able to do those drone services. So if you need airspace clearances, that's fine. But you might also be trying to start a business in an area where you're probably never going to get an airspace clearance, okay? So you want to think about that kind of stuff too before you figure out, okay, I'm going to offer this service to this target market in this geographic area that might not be uh, uh, feasible for you to do that. You know, then the last thing I think is just to really validate I your idea. Just start putting some stuff out there. Um, That's what I've done and I continue to do that. I, st I put stuff out there to see what people are enjoying, to see what people are interested in, to see what people need, finding a gap in that market. Um, I know that I have put out content on social media. I've put content out on YouTube. I've offered up services. I've talked to people, handed out business cards. And you kind of try to figure out what it is that really resonates with people. What is it that people really need in your area with regards to the services that you're able to provide? So really just start thinking about what kinds of things can you just start putting out there to see are people going to bite? Are people going to uh, take an interest in this? Are they even willing to sit down and talk with you about it? Um, just start putting some stuff out there. You can also conduct some pilot projects create some case studies around what kind of problem are you solving with your drone services. Starting a company in any sort of emerging technology, I've worked in emerging technologies <laughs> for a very, very long time. And oftentimes you're trying to sell something to people and they don't know that they need it yet. They don't know that it's an option yet. Okay. Whereas if you're like, okay, I'm going to go to the store and get a pair of black pants. Black pants exist and I need, I know where I need to go to get them. Okay. And so whatever you're, you decide you want your drone services company to be, there might be people out there who need your services or even want your services, but they just don't know it yet. Okay. So you've got to figure out a way to get in front of those people and really highlight how you can approach a problem that they have just from a little bit of a different perspective. Your biggest takeaway here is from this episode is if you are thinking about starting a drone business and you can't figure out if it's a viable business idea or not, really start doing some research, get online, see who what's going on in your community, what kinds of things are other people offering, do that SWOT analysis, and then just start putting stuff out there, putting stuff out there to see what people are interested in. And maybe do a few free projects, even just for yourself, um, that you can start creating a portfolio that you can share with people to show what it is that you're able to do and, and really go from there. If you can just start putting your ideas out there, putting it out into the world, start talking to people about it, 
And you'll get a lot of really good feedback from people on whether or not they, that it, it's a good idea to start moving forward with. I'd like to invite you to our Facebook group, and it is called Business Strategies for Drone Pilot Group. We have a lot of really great conversations, and uh, you get to meet a lot of different people from all different parts of the world that are working on growing and starting and growing a drone business. And we've also got some people in there that are thinking about starting a drone business. We've also got people in there that are thinking about starting a career in the UAS industry. So not necessarily starting their own business, but they want to get a job within a, a growing company in the UAS industry. So I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook group, Business Strategies for Drone Pilots, and we'll see you there. Thank you for joining me in today's episode. I'll talk to you all next week.